Okay, so I was asked to do another review on this after I got some miles on it. Uh, I was planning on doing one anyway, but um, I figured I'd go over likes, dislikes, the philosophy of use, why I bought this bike, and um, if I'm happy with it. And the answer to the last is yes, I'm happy with it. I think it was a good purchase. Um, I'll start up here at the top. The grips. As you can see, they have a flat spot where your palm heel goes, and uh, I didn't know if I was going to really like them, and I do. Very comfortable. Never had a bike that had them before. It's it, it almost feels like there's more of an area, like you have more control, if that makes any sense. Um, I was a little worried that because they had a greater area that they might twist on me. They haven't twist. Whatever they glued these on with, they're pretty solid, so liking the grips. Um, I guess if you had an issue where they weren't exactly positioned where you want, you could loosen up your your bar and maybe rotate it around. But I don't know um, who set them up, whether it was a dealer or they came like that. But they're in the grip, they're in the perfect position. So liking the grips. Um, moving on, seat. It's got a, a cutout here in the center. Um, I've had issues with Bruce Tailboom last year, and I'm, I'm liking this seat. The first ride I went on was 11 miles. I didn't have any issues with uh, discomfort and uh, the need to get another seat. I thought this was fine. Um, I haven't adjusted it back and forth. It's been great the way that it was set up from the, uh, from the bike shop. I will say, however, though, that the seat post is junk. It sucks. I've tried to adjust it as best I can many different ways and it, it seems like what happens is when you sit on it, it goes down and then it kind of just stays there. And I've tried to put the tension up and it's either so stiff it doesn't go down at all or you, you soften it up and it goes down and it kind of just stays there. So I will be replacing that and I'm looking at a few different ones. Uh, there's a new one coming out that hasn't hit the market yet by um, Redshift. I think it's called the, the Body Float. And I really like the way that design looks. Uh, I think they said it's coming out in June 2019. So I'm going to get that probably. And um, I'm going to take this quick release clamp off and put a, a solid clamp because you don't want somebody just walking away with your $150 seat post. So that's an upgrade I'm going to make. Uh, I put water bottles on it. I also got this. Um, I'd never seen these before, and they're a pretty good idea. They're just—it's just a case with a uh, with a lid. It's waterproof, and that's where my spare tube went. And uh, that's working out pretty good because it's it's down lower on the bike, so better lower for center of gravity than up higher. So transferred my pump. Uh, I got a little tiny bell bag at Walmart. That's where my lock is. Uh, let's see. There's a lot of stickers on this bike. It took me like an hour and a half to get all the stickers off. All the warnings and can of lighter fluid to get the glue off. Some of them came off clean. Some of them didn't. They were all over the place. Just got all them off. Um, I set up the front brake well you'll see in one of my videos it's non-locking you can't lock this front front wheel up um, you'll see a little bit more later on I'll, I'll explain a little more in the videos but um the suspension I tightened it up pretty tight love it it's it's got just the right amount of bounce to it um, I'm probably riding this a little more aggressive than their aimed uh, audience but it's it's I don't think I've got it all the way tight it still can go a little bit more and it's it can be taken down a lot if you wanted it a lot more plush so you know it's pretty stiff now but a wide range of adjustability and um, pleased with that I had in my other video I mentioned an issue I had with the front brake there was rubbing the last 
today I was I was riding and the back brake was making noise and it turned out that the inner pad was backed out too far and that's just the way it was set up from the bike shop so I got the on wrench and ran that pad back in a little bit and that seemed to, to end that um, I'll know next time I get riding it was just a just a weird noise it made at slow speed when you were like using half the brake pressure so the gearing is awesome you got 24 it's way more than you need very very low first um, I got little lights at Walmart they're not very bright but they're better than nothing I took all the stupid reflectors off I don't really ride at night that much and generally when I do ride at night it's in a town where the speed limits like 25 miles an hour and there's hardly any traffic so there's a red one and a white one they both go steady they both flash they have a bungee cord I think they were ten dollars so that's my lights if I need them um, I love the shifters they're very exact uh, haven't had any missed gears it, it really <clears throat> excuse me really goes solid everything is so smooth the the bike is nice and tight the tires are smooth uh, it's just it's a joy to ride uh, this this bike actually is balanced so well that it I think it inspires confidence more than more than your ability I mean it just it just feels like it could do more than what it was meant to do like I would have no problem taking this down the steep downhill and uh, surviving you know even though it's not intended for that it feels that that good and that balanced um, I was gonna switch the tires but they look that they have a fairly low rolling resistance on the center tread and they've got very aggressive side knobs if you do have to get in the dirt and get cranked over a little bit so I think I'm gonna leave them until they do me wrong and I uh, lose a front end or something I think I'm just gonna leave them because uh, you know like I said until until they give me a reason to change them I'll give them a, a shot um, I like the, the size of tires too the, the 26 inch tires I, I always stay with these it's just it feels like a big BMX bike they you're so nimble and you can turn so quick there's none of that awkward um, you know rotational mask of 29 or 27.5 it's it's just it's very nimble so I did put a computer on it I got the uh, cat eye micro wireless I might do a review on that that that's working out pretty good but um all in all very pleased with the purchase uh, hasn't really um, besides a couple little issues nothing's really reared its head up and been like ah shouldn't have got this bike so so that's my take. If, and if you have a, a question on something I didn't cover or, or something that you would like to know about it, hit me up in the comments and I'll answer it. Is, um, I set my front brake up so that I loosened the cable up so that you can pull this in all the way it won't lock the front wheel up it'll just about lock it up it's like right on the edge because I don't ever see a reason why I need to lock up my front brake I'm not doing any nose wheelies or anything like that so it's just not that I'm not experienced enough to have it that I could I've seen so many people crash on the boardwalk if you get a slight turn, you grab a handful of front brake, little kid pulls out in front of you, and down they go. So that's just a personal preference that I think is a good idea to set up, especially as you get older. You don't need to lock up your front brake. The back doesn't matter. You can see the back tire. It's not going to make you crash. You lock up your front tire in a little bit of a turn, and you're going down. So just a little tip that I do. Here's what I was telling you about on the front brake, all the way.
another thing to note is on the shifters on this side this is down and this is up but on the other side it's the reverse this is up and this is down I don't know if all trigger shifters are like that but that's gonna take a little getting used to shifting is very precise very smooth If that rear brake's gonna uh, wear in and stop making noise or what, but if you if you really grab on it, it does make noise. It's not affecting its performance, just kind of a little annoying. Oh my gosh, that was so cool. Dad.